So today is day one of guitars and I'm really excited. I'm outside the studio now. I've just set up all of my rig and um, you know, I've been practicing these songs for ages now. Some of them five years. So um, really ready to get in there today. I want to talk about it though because it's a bit different from what we normally do. Because Callum and I now have um, a little bit of conversation about each other's parts. Like... Before now, I used to kind of just lock myself away in my little cave and just get on with the guitars, then present them to him, and he basically so yeah, 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 yeah. And then he'd do the same with the lyrics. But now we're talking a lot more about the parts, like, um, for instance, there's a, there's a song called This Time Around, which we really like the whole song, but the problem is, for the first three and a half minutes, there's nothing for me to do, because there's no guitars. I'm just singing, and... It's kind of a like in the playlist of the album. It doesn't really make sense to keep it like that. So we've got to come up with a part for it today. I'm thinking probably a clean part, but but the point is that we'll get to discuss that and we'll be able to kind of balance ideas around what we like, what we don't like. So that's really interesting. And um, and his lyrics just like I don't know whether kind of we're just I was gonna say we're better friends, we're like best friends, but like like maybe we just have more confidence in how to talk to each other now or discuss these things but his lyrics are ridiculously good like this is the first time not the first time this is like the most or the best that they've ever been and uh there's one song that's currently called banger and it's just just ridiculously good lyrics it's just insane like um but there are times where that lyric well runs dry and Sometimes I can help with that, even if it's just coming up with a concept for lyrics. It doesn't have to be verses or anything, um, just the ideas. You know, so it's, it's a really good thing that we're in the studio together to do this. Um, why are we in the studio, though? Because we've done the drums and orchestration in other studios. Why are we here for guitars? Well, there's two reasons. I love the sound of the guitars that come out of the studio, and always have. They've always been particularly good. I'm a guitarist, so I mean, like... I spent a lot of time invested in getting the perfect sound for what I think it should be anyway. Um, and two is budget, because I don't want to spend the next two weeks in a studio in London, you know, neither of us do, away from our families or anything like that. We want to kind of do this as comfortably as possible, and so I treat it like a day job. We're here during the day, sometimes sometimes night, night shifts, um, to get it done. But doing it here, it's more relaxed. We feel less pressure from studio owners to like get out so we can stay a bit later if we need to or start a bit earlier if we need to you know um it's more comfortable to do it here and and plus it's my studio i know how it works and all that stuff today i'd like to show you a little bit about the guitars today because i don't think i've ever done that with the two down setup got a new guitar as well which i'd like to show you as well um maybe a bit about the pedal rig it might be quite a long video i don't know i apologize if it is and um really excited to start tracking oh my god so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna start tracking well as soon as Callum gets it anyway see you in a bit bye <laughs> Thank you. 
thought I'd spend a moment talking a little bit about my pedal setup because I haven't really done that. I've had the same pedals now for quite a long time. Um, some of these pedals are duplicated. For instance, in that box there, that's my quiet one set up. And it has a cathedral pedal in it as well. Different cathedral pedal, but, you know, with different settings on it. And um, also has one of these. Um, just... I duplicate my stuff because if suddenly we need to play a show or we're doing an album or even a single, I have my pedal board for that specific band ready to go. Um, this is a pedal train, by the way, and I use Voodoo Power. You can just about see it in there. Um, so I actually start on the floor down here with a Fender um, volume pedal and then go straight into my Whammy. Uh, I've used both of those for a while. In fact, that Fender pedal's new, but I've used a volume pedal made by Boss, I think, for a really long time. Going to the Whammy, that Vox while there, that's just for um, to add a bit of diversity into my wah, but my main wah pedal is right here, and it's a Morley Classic wah. I've used the same one forever because I love it, and um, it's passive. It doesn't add any gain to any of the chains, so I really love this wah and I'm weird with wah like I'll leave my wah on and then set it to a static position I don't solo that often so I'll leave it literally to a position I like it then use it to kind of really enhance some cleans or really cut some cleans through a specific kind of um, frequency levels so I really like having my wah on um, my um this changes every now and then, uh, which is quite cool, but I have to bend down to do it every time I need to change it. So this is a kind of always on setting, um, which I've used this setting. This is the same setting I use in quiet one, um, although my quiet one, one is over there. Um, same pedal though, but different, no, different pedal, same type of pedal. Um, but this is just a kind of always on setting. I'm tracking clean at the moment, so it's quite useful. Uh, going from this into my black eye, I've used the black eye for ages as well. Um, you'll notice I don't have any distortion pedals, which I'll come to in just a moment. Um, but that black eye is amazing. It's just a treble boost, literally one knob on and off, bright white light, and then treble boost. I think it was about there. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, bright blue light <laughs> and bright white light, so I know definitely which one is which. That one's like a fucking laser show. I don't know what's going on with that. But, um,. Uh, they all go into here, which is a uh, Strymon timeline delay, which is actually syncing via MIDI uh, to our rig at the moment, our Ableton rig. Um, so that's completely in sync. So basically, if I press record on what will be Pro Tools, because it's slaving my Ableton rig, this will, this value here, this BPM, which I can change, that will change depending on what part of the song I'm in if there is a tempo change and that will change automatically I don't have to worry about tempo so I don't even use this tap tempo feature because my rig is doing it for me which is quite nice and then finishing off with the cathedral which is kind of uh, I was going to say it's the holy grail of reverbs but because yeah, there's a reverb called holy grail so just bear that in mind but this is just an amazing pedal I use this in quiet one as well same pedal again the actual pedals in there though but I use this a lot. It's um, it's just got so many reverbs. It's just like amazing. There's this weird accu spring thing here, which sounds like you're literally breaking a spring in half. You have to turn it on. Obviously. But it sounds like you're breaking a spring in half when you're playing guitar. I leave my blend about halfway. You can see here. It's about halfway. Um, because a lot of my effects are post anyway, so a lot of my effects will be in Ableton. But from the effects that I want to control on stage, that's normally about enough, and I have some presets and stuff which you can scroll through. This is presetted to fuck, like every single song has its own preset, and every part of every song now has its own preset, because basically before I used to track songs and never used to save what I'd done, like I didn't save the delays or anything, but now that isn't an issue, I just save absolutely everything as I go. So um, that is it right now, my Marshall rig. Is in there which I'll do in another video but yeah I don't have any distortions because my Marshall rig is so kind of I don't know it's really versatile so I've never needed distortion this compressor uh, compressor boosts me enough to kind of negate the need for a uh, an overdrive or anything like that in two down which is quite good so 
Um, also, it's another pedal not to have to worry about on the floor. These as well, Ebo, which um, you may know what that is, makes everything sound ultra sustained. And it's again another blue light. <laughs> Whoa. Um, and then these, I can't remember who makes these. Um, I'm looking around for the letter from the guy. I can't remember. They're custom made though. These are slides. I use a lot of slides, believe it or not. Even if it's just for effect or whatever. You'll see this side is kind of like a graphite. It's really interesting. Then this side is like a really polished glass. It's like strange as you turn it. I don't know if it's going to focus on me. As you turn this, is it going to focus? Son of a bitch. I don't know if you can see how different it is. Like ultra gloss and then. And there's another one lying around which I can't seem to find. Give me a sec. Uh, I can't find it, I don't know. But that uh, has like a really gritty side, and then the other side of that is glass, it's actual glass. Like that's just kind of tempered metal. Um, but the other one is glass, it has a glass coating, which is even cooler. Um, and they're custom made because I do use them a lot. But that's my kind of they're the toys I get to play with when I'm making funky noises. The end.